Hello. In today's presentation, I am going to talk about ovulation and egg health in general. So, ovulation is a very key event in the menstrual cycle and marks the release of a mature egg from the ovary, making it available for fertilization. And it's a very very crucial process in the reproductive health. And typically, uh, it happens during the mid of a menstrual cycle. So what we need to remember that the quality of the eggs is very very important. It's not just the quantity but the quality of the eggs that is very important. And what is happening nowadays is that we are seeing that there, uh, there are a lot of uh, women coming to us with poor egg quality and they are finding it difficult to conceive. So let's try and find out what are the factors that are affecting egg health. So firstly of course age, lifestyle choices, underlying health conditions. These can influence egg health to a great extent. So uh, what can we do to optimize egg health and to maintain uh, a healthy reproductive cycle? That's what we are going to talk about in this presentation. So typically the egg takes around 90 days to mature fully and to be released uh, and to be available for fertilization. And there are key factors during this time that can impact the quality and the uh, quantity of the eggs. So basically it could be uh, the blood flow, it could be the, uh, you know, what, what needs to be done is that we need to ensure that there is proper blood flow, there is proper oxygenation available to the eggs, the hormonal balance is right, nutritional intake is good and there is less amount of stress because all these factors influence the egg health. So let's try and focus on each of these factors. So let's take for example blood flow and proper oxygenation. You know, adequate blood flow to the ovaries is very very crucial for optimal egg health. You know, lack of exercise, dehydration, thickening of the blood, these are few factors that can uh, impact the blood flow and that can prevent the eggs from getting oxygenated blood. So exercise as I said is very important because it not only enhances the uh, body's movements, it also releases certain hormones. It's a very important aspect of uh, having a good uh, fertile cycle. So you can choose any exercise to your liking. Basically that's what I uh, always suggest to all my patients that you know just don't join a gym randomly or something. Do something that you really like because when you do something that you really love or you're passionate about that's what you will consistently do so take up to running take up to walking dancing do fertility yoga whatever is easier for you whatever you enjoy start doing that but because it will increase the blood flow it will bring fresh blood to your organs to every cell and oxygenated blood to your uh, to every part of your body the second thing that we recommend is massage massage is something which is very very important to move the stagnated blood and to provide fresh oxygenated blood to the uterus and the ovaries so there is something called as a fertility massage which is a topic of another discussion which i will share in the subsequent presentations but massage is also very good and it is very essential to you know improve the egg health another factor of course is the hormonal balance now we know how hormonal balance is crucial for a healthy a menstrual cycle how hormonal balance is really very crucial for um, the fertility for the egg health and this hormonal balance can get disrupted because of many things it could be the diet it could be the lack of exercise so achieving hormonal balance is very important nutrition nutrition is the key for uh, a proper healthy menstrual cycle a proper fertile cycle so because through nutrition we are providing everything that is possible uh, for uh, for our body to grow for our eggs to grow in a healthy way so nutrition is very important and uh, it is important that you understand what you need to avoid specially uh, what we recommend is that you should avoid refined sugar and refined bakery products you should avoid eating food that is uh, artificially flavored or packaged food because all these uh, things because of the preservatives because of the pesticides because of the certain chemicals these things act as hormone disruptors so it is very important that you concentrate on what you are eating 
and the quantity that you are eating many a times women ask us about role of multivitamins multivitamins are key uh, in uh, egg health because they are very very important in the preconception phase where uh, you know preparation of the lining of the uterus or in general the egg health is uh, determined by the kind of vitamins that it gets so essentially i always advise that it's best to try and see that you eat the right kind of food uh, and try and use supplements that are naturally prepared or are prepared from natural resources rather than synthetic multivitamins because natural vitamins will be easily available to your body and they will really promote good egg health another important aspect is of antioxidants so a lot of us go through um, uh, the kind of uh, free radical damage because of the kind of food that we are eating and we nearly we really need to prevent the free radical damage and to optimize the uh, egg health it is very important that we take certain antioxidants and these are suitable for both men and women as well one of them is uh, coq10 which is very very popular because it is known to uh, you know uh, reduce the uh, free radical damage uh, that happens to uh, the uh, eggs <clears throat> during the aging process and so many other things so uh, the role of coq10 is very important you should for someone who's trying to conceive uh, taking this um, bio cq10 is very very important another antioxidant is of course l arginine which is also very important which uh, improves the ovarian function ovarian response it improves the endometrial receptivity and it is very very important that you take this if you are trying to uh, conceive or if you are trying to um, go through iui ivfs this is a key antioxidant that you can take role of stress of course there can be a totally different presentation and a big topic about how stress impacts us on a day to day basis especially women who are very career oriented or who are pursuing uh, certain goals in life or actually even women who are uh, dedicatedly taking care of the household stress is a part of everyone's life so prioritizing your uh, things that you need to do trying to avoid workplace conflicts all these things are very important because ultimately what you feel at an emotional level will uh, release a certain hormone or a certain certain chemical in your body and that can negatively impact the egg health so you know you need to start scheduling taking time uh, for yourself doing some self care activities enjoying uh, time with your loved ones do some kind of reflexology treatments etc and attend certain therapy sessions if you are really stressed out so these are few of the key factors that determine how your egg health can be improved i hope this presentation was interesting please do uh, log in for more such presentations thank you so much